Hi and welcome to this lesson on the enthalpy change of solution. So in the last lesson we had a look at the enthalpy change of hydration, which is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions is dissolved in water to form an infinitely dilute solution. So we're going to come across that infinitely dilute solution again, that phrasing in this lesson, and we also learnt about the charge density of the ion. So the greater the charge density, the greater the enthalpy of hydration. So moving on, as I said, in this lesson we'll be looking at the enthalpy change of solution. The enthalpy change of solution. It is the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic solid is dissolved in a solvent to give a solution of infinite dilution. So make sure you're taking note of the one mole. These parts of the definitions are really, really important. It tells you when you need to double values, for example, in a cycle. So the more exothermic the value of the enthalpy change of a solution, the more soluble the compound is. And that's really, really useful to know. Remember from the previous lesson, infinite dilution, it's simpler than it sounds. All it means is that if you add any more water to the solution, it will be so diluted anyway that the concentration doesn't change. It means that the ions aren't interacting with each other at all, they're only interacting with the other water molecules. So in these equations, AQ is taken to mean a large excess of water. When a solute dissolves in a solution, we get bond breaking because we need to break up that ionic lattice first. Now that is an endothermic process, of course. Then we get new bonds being formed. So those bonds between the ions themselves, the individual ions and the water molecules, so those intermolecular forces as such, and this process is exothermic. And it's a balance between those two values, isn't it? Whenever we calculate the overall enthalpy change. So the overall enthalpy change is, of course, the enthalpy change of solution. For a solution to dissolve, the energy given out must be equal to or greater than the energy taken in for that process. And that means that the enthalpy change of solution is always a negative value. So it's always an exothermic process. And remember what I said at the start, the more exothermic the value, the more soluble the compound is.